Let's have that sync function. So you can just hit sync on the receiver, put it up to the infrared receiver right there, mm. and it'll sync everything. But if you need to change something specific, uh, this is the, the menu, so you can choose down or up. And to select, you push it in. That's what took me forever, so I didn't know you pushed it in. So you can scroll here, see the auto locks active, so I just push it in, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's that, and then you can scroll this over, hide that so people can't play around with mm. it. And then also one of the really interesting things about this line of microphone, this one's not gonna do it. Um, these heads can be removed and replaced with different heads, with that have different polar patterns, um, dynamic or, or um, condenser microphones. Oh, nice. Just like that. So, mm. you could buy a new one of these that has a different capsule in it. Mm -hmm. Just unscrew it and screw it back on. Mm -hmm. it. So, like these ones, it's a dynamic. So, there's the, the diaphragm right there. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see it's a cardioid pattern. Mm -hmm. Also list that on the outside, the E835, this head is the 835 model. So Anything that has an 8 is a dynamic microphone from Sennheiser, anything with a 9 is a condenser, I think. Could be wrong about that. Um, these are just kind of like little cases, you can... It's a wireless receiver and a handheld. So remember when we were going over kind of walking around the plaza talking about arts fest mm -hmm. um so when we have that those wireless speakers set up mm -hmm. i take this i take this handheld or sorry body pack i take out this cord and replace it with one of these converts it to mm -hmm. a quarter inch and then i set the frequency to match with that receiver for the satellite audio system and then I plug that receiver into the DSP and then the speakers into the DSP. So that's how that kind of works. Mm. Um, and then this handheld audio enhancement mic. Um, remember how all the classrooms have that really crappy audio enhancement system? Mm -hmm. This is just a microphone that you can use in there. Mm. Um, no one ever uses it, but it was just sitting around, so we put it in one of these boxes. Um, and here is some cut gels, organized by gel number. So, like, you have some Roscoe 19 sheets. Over here you have some Roscoe 59 sheets. Um, you should have plenty of cut heat shields. Which are right here, the super heat shields, so you can go on there and should be plenty that are cut. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that. Going down here, this is a, a drum kit set of microphones. Okay. Pretty nice. Um, so you have the bass drum, the toms, and then cymbals. Mm -hmm. One of these, I think this one's the snare. These two are for toms. Mm -hmm. So that. I've never used it personally, but it's there. This is kind of all the really old equipment. Old, old, old. There's just tons of random stuff in there. Um, this is a portable dimmer rack, up to four channels, and this is a tiny 12-channel 12, 12 light board. Oh, nice. So if you need to have a portable event and, you know, maybe set up four Source 4s or Parnells or something, you mm -hmm. can totally do that. Um, they're both dip switches. So this dip switch will choose the starting address that you want this to set up to. I have it set to 1. So that means that channel 1 is going to output to DMX1. I could have it set to 400, and channel 1 would output to channel 400. Mm -hmm. um, it has two banks, so if this LED is lit up, this is 1 through 12, or 1 through 6. If you click, click it again, then this is now 7 through 12. So you can cycle through, kind of like that little knob at the top of the light board. Mm -hmm. Then you have a master fader. And this one is actually capable of running off of battery power. Mm. Um, Right there. You can take this out, pop in a battery, just a 9-volt battery. Mm -hmm. 
Never used that? Um, I've used it once or twice for Arts Fest and dances and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, and there's that. Um, these are all gels in here. So you have like our, our VA, you have the psych gel, so you can just open this up. Pop out a roll of gels, cut them if you need to replace something. Okay. Those are all there. This big black bag has our haze machine in it. Um, and then in here you have a bunch of these insert cables. So you have the tip and the ring in there. Um, and then in this box you have a bunch of really tiny XLR cables. The yellows are 10 feet and the purples are 6 feet. Those are all in there. Mm -hmm. um, and here you have wired hand mics for things like the little theater, band room, quiet room, Spartan Cove that don't have wireless systems. Mm -hmm. Um, over here you just have some small extension cords. These two are the only one with a ground plug. Everything else is just a... Just, just a, a hot and common. Yeah. And you have your instrument microphones. So in here, these are the wired dynamic SM57s that you could use. Um, this is probably what Brady will end up putting in the pit for the musical. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also, I think I showed you the these ones, right? The ones that you can plug into a, a body pack microphone. Mm, yeah, I think you did show me those. Um, yeah, so they're instrument. They're still in, Yeah, you mm -hmm. did show me those. And then there's the cello mount and then one for violin. This is also good for bass and this is also good for viola. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Giddings knows how to set all of this up. Okay. So if you need any help, he can help you. Okay. Um, and I have some DVI to VGA adapters. So VGA in one end, DVI in the other. Mm -hmm. A VGA signal is an analog <clears throat> video signal. DVI is a digital video signal. Hmm. Um, DVI is known as being better HD quality. Um, VGA is just as good as long as it's over short distances. If it's anything longer than maybe 10 feet, the, the signal quality can kind of drop off. Mm -hmm. Um, I also have some HDMI cables in there. Good. Um, over here we have the floor mics. So these mics, they have a mini XLR connection. Um, you just set this on the floor and it'll pick up everything. Mm -hmm. um, Those are for just. I've like, only used uh, them once. The where where would you use floor mics where they wouldn't be trampled and just in a orchestra? I used a choir. So, um, Lloyd, one of her dances, her Christmas dances, had um, the choir singing, but it wasn't on the stage or anything like that. It was off on that side mm. of the apron, and they needed to be heard and mic'd so the dancers could hear the lines, so they wouldn't know what to count oh. and do all that stuff. Also, so the audience could hear them. Over and the you didn't music. want floors. You didn't want the stands up to yeah, kind I didn't of want, you know, visual quality. Yep, so I just set this on the edge. Oh, nice. Okay. To pick them up. And this one, you can, it even has a... You can cut or boost the low end base tilt option. I have it set to cut to help reduce feedback. Mm -hmm. This one also has a mini XLR connection. Mm -hmm. um, down here you have the video cables. The, these are the HDMI... Uh, Ethernet to HDMI converters. Oh, that so we were talking about up there for the projectors. Uh -huh. And these are two 100 foot Ethernet cables. Okay. Those two work fine. There are a couple DVI, VGA cables. I also have some adapters for iPads, iPods, oh. Macs, all okay. that sort of stuff. I noticed there's a bunch of labels on all this stuff. You've got a label machine where you when you um, buy new equipment I had my own personal one but you can always borrow one from the main office okay 
And then down here, there are more of these type of lavalier microphones. In this Is box. this all in the inventory list? That we don't keep the lavaliers in the inventory just because they're replaced so frequently because they get broken so frequently. Mm -hmm. But, it's hard to keep track yeah, of what. Just about everything else is. Okay. You have another gooseneck microphone stand, so this would screw into the base, and then you could put a mic clip right here. Mm -hmm. um, just different mic clips. Um, these are mic clips for the lavalier microphones. So, in order to get these, take these, you take the wing guard off. When you buy these, they don't have the wing guard installed. Mm. comes in a little baggy, so you have to put that on. Um, and then you just squeeze this to make that a little bigger. And then, I don't know if you can kind of see over all the tape residue, there's a line right there. Mm -hmm. That's where you want it to sit. Kind of notches in there. So you just uh, slide it down right there and put the link card back on. Okay. So we're putting here. There are also some spare antenna. So these old microphones, these ones, sometimes these antenna break and need to be replaced. So you can unscrew them. Mm -hmm. I have one left. Um, I bought it from B&H Photo. And the POs are all over there if you ever need to find it. Okay. Um, then I have some VGA splitters. So this will convert oh. one signal into two signals. It okay. also acts as an amplifier as well, oh, so it really? boosts the signal. Okay. Um, and just cash bags. And so you're then, talking about VGA distance. Will that just amplify for another 10 feet mostly? Yeah, or I think. It's just to make it so it's I think you can the get equivalent a of one ten for like 100 feet, and then you would want to boost it. Okay. I'm not entirely sure on how all that stuff works. Okay. Um, Google that easy enough. Though. Yeah. So then you have uh, an XLR to mini XLR right there. Okay. And then do you remember those Amphenol cables I was talking about? Mm -hmm. So you have an Amphenol connector, and then this one. Kept it around because I thought it was really pretty. Oh, yeah, that's nice looking. So this would just screw right onto the mic stand, mm -hmm. and then you would want to plug this Amphenol cable in there. Screw that on, and then the other end of this cable is an XLR. Um, because Amphenol cables are so ra rare, I think I spent $80 on this one cord alone, and it's only like 30 feet long. Mm. Useful and, when you need it, though. like $60 of that was just the Amphenol connector. Mm. What, uh, what occasion would you use that specific microphone? Um, I mainly just keep it around for training purposes. Oh. Um, just so you know the difference. Yeah, just to like help the kids learn about all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, back here, I have a huge roll of the Roscoe heat shield oh, gel. Oh, yeah. Good. Too. That should last a while. Yeah. Any questions on anything in here? Nope.